why I hate upright rows. But if you're gonna do it, let me at least teach you how to do it right. So an extremely popular shoulder exercise or what people assume is shoulder is gonna be the upright row. Now, I will technically argue all day long that the way most do upright rows in gyms is technically more trapped than anything. But let's talk through each one of those and show you the difference between trap versus shoulder and then I'll tell you why I hate it. So let me show you the trap version first. So in terms of grip, if I'm gonna hit my traps with this exercise, I'm gonna take my middle finger and see right where the gnarling starts. I'm gonna wrap it around the bar. From here, up, up. Again, that is crushing my traps. Now, I know you'll say, Chris, that was great. You said you fill in your traps. <laughs> yes, I do fill in my traps. But if I put considerable load on there, if I probably put a plate, plate and a quarter on each time, crank eight to 15 reps, it's gonna extremely bind to my shoulder, right? Like that's not natural for my shoulder. It'll start to click and pop. And I know that because I used to do it. <laughs> so instead of being a dumb meathead, I said, hey, let's get away from that. If I wanna build my traps, let's do dumbbell strokes. Let's do barbell strokes. If I wanna hit my shoulders, let's do dumbbell side laterals. <sighs> so again, that's an okay exercise. If I'm gonna hit my traps, I'm just gonna get dumbbells and shrug. See, everything's in perfect alignment and I can adequately load that without causing any joint distress. All right, next, let me show you how I'm gonna do this for my side delts, how, why, and who I learned this from. Back to the bar. Now you see this gnarling stripe here? Depending upon your structure and setup, you wanna grab this somewhere between index finger and pinky. Now, if you're wider, you'll need to go index finger. If you're more narrow, you need to grab the pinky. For me, it's middle finger. So right in the middle, I like to go a thumbless grip. I kind of pitch forward a bit and then bam, elbows high, elbows high, elbows high. I learned that from Charles Glass. If you look at that, right? So if I get to here, it kind of looks like a sad lateral, right? So look at that. It's that same similar motion here to here, which is to me, it just doesn't feel nearly as good as doing dumbbells. And honestly, I used to do these super set together. I do dumbbell side ladder, I'll immediately go over, pick up a bar or an easy bar, and just bang, wide grip, upright rows. Because I thought, hey, that's where, where and how he was growing all of his clients' side delts. So I thought that's what I had to do. I just burned the piss out of them. But honestly, the better I got at them, I noticed it started giving me some shoulder issues. And at the end of the day, we don't want to call it joint distress with any exercise. Because to me, that said, hey, I'm just biomechanically not set up for this. Now, I didn't realize like as a whole, this is a shitty exercise. <laughs> at the time I thought it was just me and my setup. So again, if you're gonna do them, do them that way. If they feel great, keep going. But if you reach a point like I did, where it starts to cause negative pain, cut it out. Third way that you'll see people do upright rows is inside the cable. Now, you know, a huge hero of mine is Branch Warren and you'd see him and Johnny Jackson just slanging the stack on this shit, right? So again, young dumb meathead thought, you wanna be big like Branch, I gotta do this. So. Let me show you what I used to do. <laughs> With that light load, that kind of feels good. But if you put, if I put the whole stack on it, like it's what I would need, it's just gonna cause impingement on my shoulder. And then again, if I wanna smash my traps, I'm just gonna pick up some heavy ass fucking dumbbells. Oh, if I can't teach you all anything, just because someone's huge doesn't mean you should or shouldn't do an exercise. Listen to your body. Here, feel. Think about when you lift weights, what does it feel like? What does your pump like? What do your joints feel like? And if you can really look at that and then apply it to training, I'm telling you, it will go so much further at keeping your body healthy and then growing. So again, to me, throw all three of these upright row variations in the absolute garbage. You want to grow your shoulders, do side laterals and rear laterals. If you want to grow your traps, do dumbbell shrugs. That's the takeaway. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Christmas TV.